My name is Julian Nitzberg. I'm the director of the film The Wild and Wonderful Whites of West Virginia. It's a film about a family from West Virginia called the White Family, who are a multi-generational criminal family who also tap dance. 20 years ago, um, I met the White Family while filming another documentary of mine and became obsessed with the family. And I shot footage back then. And 20 years later, I got this call that Johnny Knoxville was obsessed with my documentaries. So he called me up next thing, and I didn't know if it was a prank, but he was like, hey, it's Johnny Knoxville, you wanna hang out? We ended up hanging out, and I showed him this footage no one had ever seen that I'd always wanted someone to see from 1989 of Jessica White. And he said, you know, we should do something with this. And finally, we came up with this idea of, you know what? Let's go back to Boone County and see where the family is today. We actually called it immersive filmmaking, where we just immersed ourselves. We, when the cameras were off, we're eating with the family. When we take a day off, if I was in West Virginia, I was going to the movies or a bar with the family. There are a lot of heartbreaking moments in the movie. Some family members we really liked, and they took off on the run because the police were after them and went on the lam. You know, suddenly, well, we can't shoot that person anymore. They've disappeared. There were these times where it, it was really emotionally wrenching and. You know, and it was really hard to keep shooting because you're just like, you know, you love these people, you don't like to see them hurting themselves. A lot of people watched the movie and they were like, well, did you try and stop them? I'm like, you can't stop someone who wants to do something bad. All we could do is be disapproving and then produce a less honest documentary. I always believed in the potential in the film. I knew that we were dealing with an amazing family, amazingly funny, amazingly heavy. After we'd shot, and we spent, you know, a week and a half editing it. Edited this 15 minute mini documentary. We were lucky enough that the person we dealt with at MT was great. We showed him the 15 minute mini documentary and he just said, let's do it before I could even get to all the pitching and other crap I'd worked out to try and sell it to him. So to be honest, if Johnny Knoxville was not sitting next to me, they probably would have said, get out of here. So going to Tribeca was great. One of our executive producers, Priya, some I was on the phone to my manager and she said, we should have submitted to the Tribeca Film Festival. I guess we, we messed up, we didn't do it. And luckily, my manager Mitch knew some people at Tribeca and made the calls and uh, got them to look at it and we got in. I was so excited and, and scared because we weren't done. And we didn't know if we could finish it in time, of course, because we were still editing, we hadn't sound mixed, we hadn't done so much. We were supposed to send the print Ahead of time, we showed up with the print, you know, at the festivals. We had a great audience where 80% of the people loved it and 20% of the people just hated it beyond belief. I hope the people who watch this film get both the beauty and the tragedy that goes on the White family. I hope if they don't know about this part of America, they get to see it for the first time and, and their eyes are open to, you know, this other facet of life.